ए हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एस एपीएसडी एंड अबैप लीग सपोर्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर क्रिटिकल एस एपीएसडी रियल टाइम सिनेरियोस आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द लिंक फॉर प्रीवियस एस एपीएसडी रियल टाइम सिनेरियोस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट प्लेलिस्ट now let's get started the client requirement here is to apply some tax on that the packaging product for example the product here is sweets sweets okay the company packaging that sweets into one plastic box the plastic box is very thick very strong and it's very robust and it's very costly as well therefore business decided that let's apply some tax on that box as well based on the total weight of that product for example the product weight is 100 or 250 grams the sweets is total 250 grams in the 250 grams so business want to apply 7 grams of weight as in tax see here we can understand that the tax should be calculated based on the weight of the product so for which material it should be the weight should be decided determined by business only it is not the same weight across all the products it might vary okay now let's see how this requirement can be fulfilled what are the changes that can be required to achieve this client requirement so in this case we are trying to determine the condition base value that is field is kawrt it's a structure xko mv is a structure in the runtime structure okay to fulfill this requirement first we are going to develop one custom condition type that might be the tpc something like that and as client clearly stated that the tax should be calculated some percentage of that total weight right so that means it should work based on the weight only that's why the new condition type should have the calculation type as e that is net weight obviously condition class will be a that means discount or surcharge and the condition category is a tax because it's a tax condition type right and but how we can identify that for which product this should be applied because there are so many products are available in system we can't apply this logic for all the products it should be applicable for only few certain specific products only and business confirmed that they are using unique external material group in the material master level that means we can use that an identifier or we can use that as one of the key parameter to apply this logic the first parameter is the condition type we have so many condition types available in the system but this logic should be applicable only for that specific condition type next logic is that the external group that is ext wg this field is available in mara table and this external material group field available in the material master basic data one view right so based on this condition type based on the external group we are going to calculate the weight the next step is that we are going to develop one custom table so here 
we are going to create one custom table with the combination of material plant external group and weight so based on these parameters three parameters we are going to retrieve the weight okay and here the first three parameters material plant external group are primary keys yeah, these are unique keys weight is non primary key and these are the data types for this material i mean these fields for material is matner plant means works external group is extwg weight is meng 13 so why we need to develop a custom table is that because if there are hundreds or thousands of products are available then if you want to restrict the functionality for those materials only then we should have one custom table available for which we can provide an access to business after assigning that authorization object therefore business can control this table and they can main, maintain the values as per their requirement and our logic will work based on the entries in this table if there is no entry maintained in this table then existing standard logic will trigger as expected okay so that's the reason we need to develop this custom table you see here i have provided one screenshot of one of the material here the net weight is 10.200 for example the custom table for this combination if business maintained the weight as 0 0.7 or 0 0.72 something that means the value the tax value should be calculated by multiplying tax value will become kbetr it is amount multiplied with the weight here weight is maintained in the custom table if there is no logic written in the custom table sorry if there is no logic written at all means system simply will take the weight of this 10.200 this 10.200 is the one each one products one quantity product value is weight is 10.200 but business is not going to take whole total weight here they want to control that weight for the specifically custom condition type based on the custom table only so for example in custom table they have maintained as 0 0.72 and the kbetr they have maintained as uh, some 10 and 0 0.72 so this will be the value that going to be updated for that tax that means we are not going to consider the complete weight here we are going to consider the partial weight that too controlled by the custom table only hope i made it clear let me recap let me yeah let me go through one more time so customer requirement is to get the tax value based on the weight that too the weight will be determined from the custom table only for that we are going to create one custom condition type it is an tax condition type and that condition class is discount surcharge then this is the key parameter here is that external group from metal master table has been maintained then we are going to develop a custom table here with the combination of material plant external group and weight so based on this parameter only the complete logic will work and for this custom table we are going to assign authorization object and give access to business to maintain the interest in production directly and here we see actual weight of that product is different but we are getting different weight from that custom table and later that will be calculated with condition amount remember that here condition amount coming from condition amount determined from condition records only so that condition amount will be multiplied with the weight that has been retrieved from the custom 
table so one more thing i forgot to tell you that we are going to develop one custom routine which will hold this complete custom logic that custom routine will be developed in the transaction code vivo fm and uh, then later that routine should be assigned in the pricing procedure under the column alternative condition base value field only there only we are going to assign this custom routine the routine has this custom logic thanks everyone we will see you in the next video